Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make the matcha frappuccino Starbucks mini keychain. So I'm gonna start off with these little tiny cups. I will link them down below if you guys wanna go ahead and purchase them. And if you notice, it does have small holes in the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those in and glue this straw to the lid to start off. So I am beginning with the Bob Smith 30 minute slow cure epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the same amount of each, mix them with my little toothpick because this is going to be my glue to fill in those little holes that I showed you guys on the cup and to glue the straw onto the lid. So I do not need that much. As you can see, it is only a tiny bit and you do need the same amount of each. So go ahead and mix that. Make sure it is completely mixed for a few seconds and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of that epoxy onto a little hole right here that you guys see on the lid that's where the straw goes in so I'm making sure there's enough epoxy in there without overflowing the hole so I am going to let that sit for a few seconds before I put the straw in because if you put the straw in right away it tends to kind of lift up and you don't want that so let that sit there while we're working on the cup so now as you can see i am putting a nice thin layer of epoxy to the bottom of the cup where those holes are and that's going to make sure those holes are completely sealed before i work in the interior of the cups so while that dries i'm going to go ahead and place the straw onto the lid and I'm going to go ahead and let those two items dry completely for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, this is how the bottom of the cup looks. It is completely dry and ready to use. So I got these epoxy resin colorants. They have a few different colors and I love to use these to color my epoxy. As you can see, there's very many different colors. I'm going to go ahead and use this white one and this green one to make the color that I need for the matcha frappuccino. So what you need is a little cup just like this one. I like to use these cups because they have measurements on them as you can see. To fill up a whole small keychain like the one I'm using here you would probably need around 10 ml. And once again I am using my Bob Smith epoxy to fill in that cup with the matcha frappuccino so in this case like i said you do need 10 ml to fill the whole cup and if you do want to go ahead and do that go ahead but i am only going to use 5 ml because i am only gonna coat the interior of the cup I am not going to fill the whole cup up. I am only doing a nice thin coat for the interior. So just the edges. As you can see there, I put half and half of my epoxy. And I am adding a few drops of the green and about two drops of the white to start off. And blend that into my epoxy. So these drops are specially made to add to your epoxy. So I got them from Amazon. I will also link them down below if you guys want to go ahead and buy those. They work really well. I mean you can blend them. You can mix them and make whatever color you desire. And that's what I love about them as you can see here. I did mix them and I'm going to go ahead and add more drops until I get that desired color. So I added a little bit more white. As I am mixing it, I am making sure I get all those edges because I do not want any leftover drops in a certain area, you know. I want it to be completely mixed together. So I am just about done. And that is the green that I was looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that into the cup. Like I said, I am not filling in the whole cup. I just did about... 5 ml to just do a nice thin coat around the cup and give that illusion that the whole cup is filled. So as you can see, I put it into the cup and now I am slowly turning the cup so it can nicely coat the whole interior of the cup. So as you can see there, it has a nice coat, but 
since the epoxy is still, you know, not dry, you might have to be turning it for a bit. It does dry in 30 minutes, this specific epoxy. So I did turn it for a few minutes until it started to harden. And once I noticed it started to stay in place, I let it sit there for the rest of the 30 minutes. So this is how it looks so far. So after it is completely dry, this is how it looks. And now it's time to move on to the next step. So now I have this Craftsmart whipped clay that I got from Michaels if you guys are interested in purchasing it. And it comes with these little baggies and tips with different shapes on them. So I do like to play with the baggies first to make sure that fake whipped cream comes out nice and to the tip shape that I am using. So this is what I'm going to use to fill in the cups and give that illusion that they are full. I'm adding a little bit and then shaking it so it goes completely to the bottom as you guys can see there. And then adding a little more, shaking it so it goes more to the bottom. It doesn't really matter how you put it in right there as long as you are completely filling it in so as you can see there i'm shaking it around so it fills in and right here as you can see i completely finished filling it in all the way to the top so now i am gonna let that dry please take into consideration it does take about 24 hours to completely dry and so now i can do the final touches i got my lid that is also dry and as you can see, inside the lid, it does have a small area where the straw goes in. So we do have to take that into consideration when we are placing the whipped cream. So I am going to leave a hole in the middle because that area where the straw is in, it needs to fit into the whipped cream and give that illusion that the whipped cream is completely covering the inside and that area where the straw goes in is not there. So as you can see, I am doing a layer one over the other and at the same time leaving that gap in the middle. So this is how it's looking so far. I know it's a little hard to see, but just do one layer at a time and do leave that gap. Okay, so this is how it looks. And I'm going to let that dry. So now that the whipped cream is dry, it is time to do the final step, which is actually put the lid on. So like I told you guys, I left that little hole so the straw part can go in it. And it can give that illusion that the whipped cream is covering everything. So I did mix a tiny bit of epoxy, fresh epoxy to fill in that thin line that you see I am filling in right now so the lid can stick to the cup and then the cup will be complete just a tiny bit you do not need that much epoxy and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the lid onto the cup so just right in there I'm gonna kind of wiggle it onto the little hole and there you go. You see that? How it just fit nicely onto the whipped cream. And it did not damage my whipped cream at all. So this is how the cup looks. It's super cute. You can move it around if you would like to. Until you see the position that you like it to be. And then your epoxy will completely dry after 30 minutes. So. The final touch would be just to put my Starbucks sticker on the front of the keychain. I am looking to the back where the keychain is going to be because I want it to be nicely aligned. And there you go. That easy, guys. So I am completely done with this matcha frappuccino Starbucks keychain cup. So now all you have to do is add your choice of keychain and you are done. So look how cute this cup came out. These are my final results. 
Look at that illusion that the whipped cream gives it with the epoxy. The whipped cream looks super good. It looks so, so cute. So, I hope you guys learned a little something. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.